Hey everybody, I'm Ray. I'm Ado. And I already made this joke last episode I was about to make, so I won't do it again. Either way, we're at world level number something six. I don't know how the phrasing works in this game, okay? But we're still almost done with Kirby. And I remember the last time we spent like 15 minutes trying to get a stupid secret. <laughs> I forget what I named that episode. Oh, right now I remember it. I think I called it more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> I feel like there's a secret to the left under the whole platform. Ah! No! <laughs> now you can't use the fireball that you were going to use on it. Because that's what I was remembering, because I just remembered I saw a speedrun about this, like, recently. Oh, god dang it. Quick, exit the level. No, you can't do it while falling. Also, I think we need to beat the level once. To exit the level. Ah, shit. Oh, well. Okay, that's fine. Well, we know where the secret is. We just gotta get fire, get in, and get out. But I saw some interesting things in the speedrun of this game, and I'm hoping to make use of those while we play. Hello. Uh oh! <laughs> I didn't know there was no ground there. Oh, jeez, I would have warned you. Well, goodbye for the once in a lifetime enemy, usually. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? I just fucking said. What the hell is this? Why are there so many UFO that all suicide on you? No, seriously, what the fuck? That's getting really weird. Oh, I just heard something really cool I saw about during that speedrun. So, do you remember that one time on, like, the first playthrough, I think? Wow, they're really in force in this episode. In this mission. In this mm. level. That's really that's really obscene. Do you think it's because we're on hard mode? Possibly. And it's like, that was just this many until you get to the point where they don't spawn in anymore? <laughs> like, yeah, it's hard the first time, but then they stop showing up. It's like Dark Souls 2. Except that's bad that they did that in there. Enemies eventually stop spawning in, is the thing I mean. You're not gonna be able to get that. What's you... bad about that? Because that's eventually running out of trying to earn a material if an enemy can drop it. So, how can I put this? Do you know about that one desert priestess set that might be a, like a popular thing that you may have seen people draw about? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe Plague of Gripes drew one? Like it's this no, but red you're basically hood. talking about a specific armor set. Yeah, I was trying to talk about a specific armor set. There's only so few of those enemies in the game that can drop that, and if they eventually start not spawning ever again, ever, then you're never getting in that outfit. Like, ever, until you beat the game, which can take a good few hours. And then you still might be unlucky enough to not get out of New Game Plus, basically, right? Like, that's the problem. You at least have, date basically, infinite chances until you give up with infinitely spawning enemies every time you reset the area. Oops, sorry. I flicked something. And now it's a game over. Well, I guess wow, we can that's get, bad. I guess we can get Fireball. Well, we are we still are doing extra mode where everybody has different patterns on no, how No, no, I mean, like, uh, that there's random drops with ah. enemies that are finite. Yeah, and that's only in Dark Souls 2, thankfully. But then again, that wasn't the original team I've heard over the years now of, like, what the hell was with that game. It was the B team, not the team that does make the Dark Souls games. <laughs> and I say games, but there's only the one. Oh wait, I forgot, they made Demon Souls. Okay, so there technically was a standard, to a technical degree. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, imagine my problem with that though. I think there was a technical workaround that by, I think, backing up your saves to like before you do any of it and, and, and if you run into that problem. Okay, where the hell is the fireball? I can't think of where we get fire breath easily except for like one random level. I know there's a fire enemy in that one stage that we did in level 5. That was before level 6. What's going on? I thought there would be a fire Leo in here for some reason. That might be really dangerous. Excuse me. Mm. Excuse me about that. But it might be really dangerous to try to get the fire Leo, and by that I mean using the fireball, because what if you dash and then you can't fly above the hole that's after the ice wall? Alright, so, uh, go to stage 5? Uh, no. You need to go to the actual, like, the last level we've been to. You almost walked into a level we already beat. I don't know, when you asked stage 5, that's what I thought you were gonna do. Yeah, stage 5 had, like, the shooty fireball enemy, like, midway through. Or was it less than that, because there was only this small eye section at first. Oh, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> so, also in that speedrun, I found out how Tornado works, and I guess, obviously, you would probably know, because I didn't ever play as Tornado a lot, to know. But but the amount of you time you hold B is what controls the height. 
I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought you had to mash it. Ah. I was like, oh, is that how it worked? Fuck, no wonder it seemed uncontrollable to me. <laughs> okay. You did it! Now gotta go underwater into the next section. At least you're almost there. I, I feel like there's been a bunch of stuff I've already forgot that I was talking about. Ah, oh, well, whatever. We were talking about Dark Souls, finite right. enemies, and, uh... That was something about the RNG off. stuff, and I was comparing it to the UFOs, basically. Ah. It was like, Dark Souls 2! Eventually, they aren't a problem, but it takes a while. So how long do you think we get Dark Souls 2 remastered? Well, we already did. That's what so that's what Scholars of the Sur of the First Sin was. When they ported that game to the PS4... Wait, yeah, when they courted it- wait, he didn't get it. Oh, okay. I got confused, like, what are you doing? <laughs> I keep forgetting about the auto-use it whenever you get it in the level for the first time. Alright, now you just need to fly around everything safely. Um, but yeah, Scholar of the First Sin was the remake of Dark Souls 2. And that already seems to have been re-released again as part of the Dark Souls Remastered Program Edition. Which, all that is, is Dark Souls 1 Remastered since that came out. Dark Souls 2, Skull of the First Sin, and Dark Souls 3 with the DLC Game of the Year Edition all bundled into one three-disc set. When I first saw... For the PS4. When I first saw about that, I was like, Wait, what do you mean Dark Souls 1 Remastered? And that was before I really saw the announcement of it. <laughs> <laughs> so that was kind of a leak that I didn't... I, I thought it was like they're just releasing Dark Souls 1 again, but it's c compatible, basically. Just a little closer. Just, just a little, just a tiny bit. All right, but the thing I just remembered from the speedrun I was talking about. So. Really thinking fire, Leo would have made this easier. Yeah, sorry. Oh fuck! I think you do need fire, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say you should probably jump, but I think you're trying to step step. Okay, I'm sorry. You do need fire, Leo. It seems. Oh shit! You have to die to get out of this. Power Quick, jump off the ledge. The stage. No. It's a learning process, maybe. What if this is like Kirby 64, we actually need to have ice to break the ice wall? <laughs> for the one dumb thing. Well, the UFOs came back for- oh wait, because you gained over, so it's like you never beat the level. Except this happens. What are you trying to do? I wonder if it's a random... Like, the UFOs will be here. I think they'll only be here on the first appearance, that's how they usually have been working. And they fly around acting very annoying in this version. Oh, they do shoot eventually, I wasn't sure. Oh, wow. Huh, wasn't expecting that. I wasn't either, it came from off screen. Either way, okay, on the first run, where I got like two rock enemies in one specific level and they were falling at me at the same time and I got mix, apparently that is a guaranteed place to get UFO. Uh huh. Because mix can be random. But there's also a way to apparently manipulate the RNG to guarantee get it too, because it like really early in the speedrun, the guy was like, I did a jump here, take a hit here, suck in both of these enemies, and I wait for two blip sounds on the mix sound effect, where it's like dee 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 dee. He's like at like on, on the second one he matches B. And then it stops it early and then he gets UFO like really early in the game. Oh no! It's Walrus Foo! Ah! But yeah, basically I found out watching that video that that one I thought I got lucky in getting is actually guaranteed if you get those two enemies together. It is supposed to be technically hard because you have to get them to both like fall at you around the same area so you can get them both at the same time. Which I thought that's neat. I can't believe that's a thing that I accidentally got. So basically you can technically manipulate Mix, so that's pretty cool. Huh. He's with the little penguin. We don't normally get this version of the Ice Ability, we normally got the Breath one. I'm curious about that picture they had down there for free. It's Kirby on an iceberg with a penguin with an Aurora Borealis, but does he have a Poppy Bros hat on? It looks like he does, like he's a little Eskimo, like it's cold outside he's trying to be warm, Edo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was an Aurora Borealis, I thought that it was like how Iceland looks, usually looks like a Mario game, but they're oh. like way below it. Yeah, I can see that. Otherwise, that'd be a weird Aurora Borealis, they don't normally angle downward like that. <laughs> Well, if you look at them from the... Oh, wow, is that high? Huh. That you went and dipped just a little bit? Wow, really? Yes, you had zero lives left. So, is it my turn, or are we not doing that? I forget. Yeah, sure. Okay. Right, there you go. I'll go get us the Fire Leo and get us that secret now. <laughs> no! I don't want to see this. Mm. Was he in this room? I think he was in this room. 
Maybe uh, I should get ability first. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, fuck. The last time I used that, he kicked my ass. <laughs> I remember the... I remember history. It ain't so ancient. Mm. Okay. Oh, fudge. So, yeah, that's interesting to know that, uh, that we have Dark Souls Remastered and Dark Souls 2 Scholar all available as a, a three-disc set? Yeah. I mean, it was an expensive collection, but it was still all three discs and there were custom, like, disc covers. I think it was, like, blue, red, and yellow. I'm lost. Lost how? Why are three discs? Because Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. Wait, there 3 also? Yes, Dark Souls 3 has been out. Ah, fuck! Okay, so all three games, not just one and two. Yeah. Together for the PS4. Yes. With, like, all their DLCs on there. Yes. That sounds like it could simplify uh, something. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought as, I, I, had, I need to wait for the tornado to actually start up before he grabs me. Then he probably can't grab me. Ah, yeah, shit. Uh, I'm better fight. That would him. require, like, all of us to, uh, like, uh, have a copy. Yes, it would. Hmm. Well. I, wish, I don't know why I'm trying to get out of it. This isn't Dark Souls. <laughs> there is the thing of, like, mash a button and you will not get hurt as much type of thing. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. What would be simplified? Just all in one system, basically? Yeah, because as far as I can recall, like, uh, all three of us now, a days, mm -hmm. uh, have uh, PlayStation Plus. So, like, uh, we can online no problem. And uh, we uh, know how to get, like, our voices to appear within game. So, like, right. uh, all three of us could play it and, like, it can be recorded through that uh, in game audio. Uh, hopefully? I don't know, like, remember that delay I pointed out? Yeah, and then I have this problem on my PS4 to where sometimes your mic audio spikes painfully loud and I wish it would stop, <laughs> but there's no way to stop it, so I have to deal with it. On the bright side, that never happened when we used the in-game microphone setting for the Monster Hunter, so... <laughs> like, remember you didn't like how bad the delay was and sometimes it wouldn't click back in because we were loading? Oh, really? So Yeah, uh, and it didn't ever have that problem, but it was terrible with how bad it got delayed all the time, so... Huh. Alrighty. Okay. So, do you, like, want to play this stage now, or do you want me to keep going through it? Yeah, you go ahead. Uh, all right. You know, I've had, like, two tries at it already. Plus, this uh, will give me a chance to tell you a story. Something like that. Okay. So, uh... Space fight! <laughs> Space fight! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Shit. remember how we were having that little conversation involving Mosh and her not-daddy? Yes. Okay, to catch... <laughs> I thought it was going to be above land when I did that. Oops. To catch others up, uh, me and Ray were having a conversation involving Fate Grand Order characters. One being Mosh Kirillite, and the other one being, uh... Huh. What is his last name? What's Lancelot's last name? They don't have one. <laughs> I guess they didn't give him one? Or maybe they did and I just can't remember it. I'm pretty sure it's not of the lake. No, that's because he's Knight of the Lake. Hmm. Oh, that wasn't fair. Yeah. But, uh... Huh. I didn't think about it. How did Lancelot come to an end? I... I don't know, I feel like the thing I saw about his story was that after all of the Battle of Camelon, he managed to survive and slink away to take care of Guinevere's new wife that he took from the king. <laughs> but the thing is, I remember him taking Guinevere, running away, and then coming back uh, to Camelot to stop Mordred. But I think that he was the only one that survived that out of all Knights of the Table. No, uh, Gawain survived because him and Gawain ended up teaming up together hmm. in order to stop... Well, actually, no, wait, we I already know the story's already different from a fate in the perspective yeah. because... And it's even worse Arthur because... killed Mordred on Camelot. And what's even worse... Oh, fuck! Oh, no. Oh, this is getting confusing. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad when they're on sync like that. It's not so bad with the Poppy Bros, but, I mean, it sounds bad as the Poppy Bros. Okay. <laughs> Stop flickering inside of each other. It's really weird looking. 
And stop doing that thing where you run on the ground, but you're using mostly your butt for the movement. You see that, right? They're, they're just sitting on their butt and wiggling their feet. That's not running. It reminds me of Bowser's original running animation to Melee, where he just kind of, like, skids. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when he, like, bullet trains across the ground. Yeah, it's funny. Okay, that one's dead. Now if I can get over there... Oh, no, I'm gonna be able to get over there. Not unless he runs. Oh, he exploded! It's amazing! Yeah. Alrighty, well, it's safe from here. I thought I was gonna say, well, it obviously already doesn't help, because in the Fate verse of at least Fate Extra, Lancelot like, killed Gawain because he aggroed Gawain to attack him, and he didn't take, like, the insult. And then he just killed Gawain because he was so full of himself. He also fought him at night <laughs> in the Fate verse of, of Fate Extra. I totally forgot about that. I don't know why I remember that, but it stuck with me for some reason. Probably because I played on my second playthrough and I was paying much more attention. Huh. <laughs> Not second playthrough, I actually got back to the game. <laughs> so... So dang, man. Oh, like, uh, Is that like four confirmed Knight of the Round kills that Lancelot has? I guess. Oh shit! Oh no! I hate this frog. And please just give me to the no. No. Because, like, what uh... am I supposed to do here? Wait, I have an idea. Okay, sword slash. He's gonna kill me. Okay, no, he didn't. Uh. Drop it. Okay. Fuck. Well, uh... well, the fish can't jump out of the water. That's the one thing I got going. The frog can though, and that's what was problematic. Ah. Uh. Is this it? Just this beautiful little place? Okay. Oh no! <laughs> oh jeez. They're gonna kill me, aren't they? <laughs> if I stay down here, they can't hurt me. Oh no, I was wrong with me. I wish I had UFO. Alright, well, I got two tries, so you get two tries. I was hoping this wouldn't take forever, but it's also extra mode, so that's what I get. <laughs> Either way, that's already another problem of, like, ah, uh, fate versus inconsistent, so I guess we shouldn't take everything for, yeah. Well, okay. Grain well, Daughter already makes servants work entirely differently than how they're supposed to in all the other ones. Right. It's the only one where they're like, yeah, we remember stuff, and like, you're not supposed to, what the fuck? I've been lied to! <laughs> well, no, uh, you haven't been lied to, it's just, like, they're changing the rules! Yeah, uh, that's a good point. Like, uh, of course, like, they kind of established at some point, yeah, the rules are different here. That really does annoy me, though, when, like, in the story, they're all like, Yeah, this is a great adventure. Too bad I won't remember it at all. Or, like, they'll be like, Ah, but you won't remember us. Even though they've proven that they remember everything else. Wait, I keep the secrets, right? Even if I died? I didn't look above to the thing. Uh, I think you do. Oh, boy. No, damn it. Oh, thanks. Ah. I did think this was going to come back to me. Alright, so yeah, it just really does. Just bring in the question, how did Lancelot end? Ah. But, uh, anyways. Right. So, yeah, we were talking about, uh, Mash Kirillite. <laughs> and her, uh, uh, father yet not daddy, Lancelot. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, we could... She has a complex relationship with Lancelot, and that Lancelot gave birth to a son, Galahad, and Galahad came across this woman who was dying and fused his essence into her, giving her his powers. That's Mosh. And so, uh, in one sense of the word, one could say that Mosh is Lancelot's Daughter. son. Our daughter, like, uh, Fate uh, really likes to play loose with genders. It just don't care. Well, this part's gonna be a lot more easier. Mm. Right. So, uh, like, you know, one could say that Mosh is Lancelot's uh, son, since Lancelot's son uh, did a whole fusion kind of thing with Mosh. Did you see that? One charge shot killed both of them. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you need to do one more to finish them off, but still. Well, I like, mean, you, I could just walk out. I could have like, walked out shot. the door, so. Right, right. You ended the fight in one shot. Huh. Damn, I almost got him. It'd be rather interesting to see if a charged star shot from the UFO is the equivalent in power from a single star shot from a uh, star rod swing. Hmm. Well, I know it's at least the equivalent of sucking into enemies and shooting them, because if you remember, you shoot a little double star. Mm -hmm. Come on. No, go. I forgot I can't turn the other way easily. Oh, uh, can you hit the opponent from below? I don't think so. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. Yeah! Weak sauce, though. Well, it takes two hits, but it's safe. Yeah. 
fun. But, uh, so, anyways, uh, yeah, like, uh, that's her, like, little situation Mosh has going on there with Lancelot. Complex feelings of, like, oh, and Mosh grew up an orphan. So she doesn't know what it's like to have parents, but she has the instinctual memories of, I fucking hate my dad. <laughs> so, you know, she has that complex relationship going up with uh, Lancelot. So, someone, uh,. Wrote a short fan fiction in which, uh. Yay. Let's see, uh, how to describe it. Mosh wrote in to a radio uh, co host uh, person, uh, as someone who is like uh, giving out advice and stuff like that. And uh, she was like saying, Well, Father's Day is coming up, so I feel like I must do something, but I also feel like, screw him. So, uh. What do I do to, like, ease these what? complex feelings of mine? Quick question. Do I fight or do you want fight? Me. Give okay. me fight. Give me first crack. Okay, okay. do thing. Do thing you say about radio. Yeah! Now you get to fight him easily. I just swung at him. I was like, is this it? <laughs> fight me. Chink chink. Oh, oh, mm. It's just still funny to me, like, all, all, all the lead-in from everything before, where he's like, Fight me! Now nah, fight all my dudes, like, eight times. And then he just j jumps around a little, and that's it. Wow, uh, is that really to... it? Is that it? Yeah, it's all he is. He's better in the later games, definitely. He's actually a fighting Kirby Superstar, so that's good. Huh. Right, but... Anyways, uh, so she's writing the letters like, what do I do to ease my complex feelings and stuff like that? And so the radio co-host uh, gave her the advice, hmm, you should take your father out to eat to show him that you love him. However, you should take him to this one spicy mobu curry shop <laughs> and get him the hottest dish it has available. <laughs> you know, like... He'll be extremely pleased and crying with joy that his son is thinking so much about him to take him out to eat, but he'll also be crying from the extreme spiciness of the curry that he'll be eating, giving you both uh, joy and a show. <laughs> so, there you go. Okay, the Man Knight in this version is a little dangerous. He's jumping straight to where you are, and he's doing weird little wiggle things to throw you off. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought, oh, that's... Yeah, he combined with you. That didn't your existence. That was weird. He just kind of rolled over and then you were gone. He was gone. Well, I had my chance. Okay, I guess you okay. did, didn't you? Yeah. And, yeah, I just uh, that's cleverly hilarious right there. Because, like, uh, this is part of the Fate series and Spicy Mobu uh, Tofu Curry. Is that what it was called? It's just Spicy Curry. That's all I remember. And I know Kodamini likes the shit out of it, I guess. Yeah, like, it's known for its spiciness. So, like, the idea of, like, work that into there along with the advice of, like, you know, how do you assage these conflicting feelings? And I was like, yeah, that seems like that gets it done. <laughs> He's not even real. Yep. There are also some, like, uh, other things. Like, uh... I'd say that these were, like, uh... Did you just fucking parry me? Huh. Oh, man, he's actually harder. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> At least he's tougher this time, but only because we have less health to work with. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, uh, it, what it was, was that, uh, one of the servants, uh... What was her name? What's the name of the Valkyrie servant? Are you are you fucking seeing this? Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I fought it earlier. Remember? Hold on. It's not what I meant, but just. Damn it! There was a thing going on to where he wasn't attacking me, but I went left or right, and he kept doing it in perfect sync with me to stay away from me at an equal distance. I was like, "What the fuck's happening? <laughs> is he doing this on purpose, or is this an accident?" <laughs> Right, but uh, do you remember the Valkyrie Servant? Brynhild. Ah! Okay, yeah. So, apparently, it was Brynhild that was uh, running the advice column. Like, uh, plotline-wise, she just set a box in uh, uh, the middle of the hallway at the um, organization. And it was like, advice column. And people just started writing in, and she started responding, and it started to get popular. So, my turn. Oh, 
Now it's preach game over. <laughs> well, why not? Well, because you got because you got two game overs earlier, and that was your two. So that's what I thought you meant. Was it against Meta Knight? No, <laughs> but good, very fair point. Oh boy, I can't wait till we get to this one world where I found out about a nice trick to just fucking skip the level we've already done the secret for and do it a lot more quicker. Like, we'll get the secret, but it skips the bullshit to do it. <laughs> and also a strategy that I hope works for DDD. Oh, that's a cool thing to do. Whoa, he did the block. Oh, he jumped you. <laughs> I was about to say, I wonder if this is working on Shovel Knight rules that I didn't know about until I saw a speedrun for Shovel Knight. Which was, when you attack an enemy boss in there, like, and they have more than one hit to them, they aren't able to hurt you while they have taken damage. So you could do, like, the whole wailing on them and you'll, you could pass through them safely. And I was like, I've never seen a game do that before. That's a cool idea, because then it means that, you know, the more aggressive you are and careful at the same time, it's actually a good thing. It seems that the, you don't... What the fuck? You, did you hit him, but nothing happened. That was weird. So, like, we gotta be a lot more, like, specific on this now whenever we fight him, but that's a good idea. He's doing, like, a fucking quick block or something. Help. <laughs> <laughs> if I hold my sword here, he'll fall right through it and die. <laughs> hold that sword and fight me. It's just falling at least. <laughs> just keep quoting his fucking brawl taunt. Huh, he didn't, uh... He doesn't have a very consistent attack pattern. Those are the Dark Souls of all Kirby fights. <laughs> Stop chasing me. <laughs> I thought that was unfair. He was just rushing me down. Yes, he was. If only we could use a different weapon that didn't suck like a sword. <laughs> I mean, apart from a sword. Another thing in that speedrun that they didn't want to do because I forget what the reasons was, maybe it was like a certain amount of, like, no, no glitches like this, maybe, was that apparently there is a technically sort of difficult way to force the game to let you keep UFO after a stage. Uh -huh. And I was like, I wonder what the fuck that was, and I didn't remember to look it up. Oops. But anyways, uh, yeah, the Valkyrie uh, Brynhild was uh, doing a advice column, uh, just uh, Brynhild for short. What and the fuck is the, happening? The writer would just be writing in from the perspective of like a servant, uh, just writing in anonymously and uh, trying to get Brynhild's advice on the situation. Hmm. Like, I can't really speak to if like Brynhild was answering in character or not. I got close. But uh, I can say that the interpretations of the characters writing in was... Uh, it was spot on enough to where even though they were always writing in like under pen names and trying to keep it anonymous or something, I knew who was writing in. <laughs> so like that was good. And there was like 26 of these or so, like uh, last time I looked. Unfortunately, though, the only one that really comes to mind is the one involving uh, Mosh and Lancelot, just because of like a, of their particular situation. Hmm. Ow! What the? F that wasn't fair. Interesting. <laughs> just suddenly out of breath. <laughs> ah, shit! Oh, fuck! He's getting really fast now. Nope. Nope, I see where this is going, but see what I mean? That every time I move left or right, he's trying to perfectly mimic where I am. Uh. Ah, I was gonna jump too! I should have pressed A. I should have pressed A to jump instead, that would have been faster. Holding up just makes you inhale to get off the ground. Let's do this. <laughs> I just walk away. <laughs> no words. If I can get him to do the down stab at me. Nope. Damn it. Sure, it'd be nice if you could block with your sword. Yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to get this pattern down where he, like, sort of attacks but stops and I can hit him twice. Oh, shit. <laughs> you powered through that one. Maybe I could do, like, a thing where I. Excuse me. Where I attack but slide through? I don't, I don't know if that input would be too lag worth to be able to actually do it. That way I could avoid damage. Like, this is kind of the fight I would have expected the first time, but he kind of mostly stood there from what I remember. Like, I didn't really try to avoid him, and I was like, okay, I guess that's the fight. <laughs> like, DDD and Nightmare were harder. 
It's still funny to me that something like a Kirby game can get this hard just because, okay, we made a mode that's actually hard mode and you have to beat the game for it. Hey, just like lots of games still did way after this, huh? <laughs> like, congratulations, you beat Onimusha, now here's hard mode, and then you beat hard mode to unlock nightmare difficulty. Then you beat nightmare difficulty to unlock- why are you playing this mode? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see a game actually fucking call that whenever you get to that difficulty. I mean, there technically already is with Toho with the insane mode, if I believe. No, it's lunatic, lunatic mode. And that, and if I remember, the description is because you'd have to be to play this mode. <laughs> At least that's the English translation, but I don't doubt it's too far off from the Japanese meaning. Because crazy comes in many ways, but it all translates the same. Or something like that. I don't know. I tried to sort of reattribute re a joke from Family Guy that doesn't work too well there. I don't, I don't know if you rem remember, but it's what's to it. It's like, hey, you wouldn't know what sounds the same in every language? A bullet! <laughs> <laughs> like, whatever the fuck somebody said, he was like, being his normal stewy spiteful self, that's still a funny joke. I never noticed there's a weird sprite layering problem going on with the enemy life bar, unless it's only because of this game being in this kind of thing, and it wasn't like that in like a regular CRT. And it's very minor, but there's like one clip in the middle of the boss health bar that's like really skinny. Of course, that could also be sprite limitation, like, oh, we couldn't get it like perfectly even. Are we just gonna have to do the hit and run? Because I was doing hit and run, but I wanted to get two hits per run. <laughs> but it was more dangerous doing that. Like, sometimes he will block, and other times he won't. He definitely can't do it when he's facing backwards. You see this bullshit? <laughs> That's totally a new mechanic here. It's either that, or I didn't see it before, because I just wailed on him and waited for him to come at me. Mm. And I had six health to spare, so... Oh, hey, you did it. I was about to say, like, if only we could, like, consistently hit him with the falling down thing. <laughs> I like that he just keeps attacking up while you're up there. <laughs> Like, he can't do shit about it for some reason, but he does throw the cape away, and that is his wings. Oh, wow, you almost got it. That was really good. That Your was... turn. Okay. Well, I do look forward to when we get to the first Kirby game, it actually adds multiple maneuvers with uh, every single power and ability. Yep. I mean, he knew Kirby could get so powerful once he learned directions. Mm, it's like Smash Brothers. <gasps> <laughs> it's still funny to think that, like, yeah, all of Smash Brothers is just a massive derivative of the Kirby engine. Like, just by and its logic in, in general. <laughs> and then they used a shit ton of Kirby Superstar stuff for the adventure mode in Brawl. <laughs> <laughs> the mine cards, all the other stuff. I was like, wow, and when I played Kirby Superstar, I thought, what the fuck? It's all been. They all just reused it from here. It's very funny. Huh. You know what I uh, feel like is a strangely missed opportunity? What? The Smash Brothers oh, Amiibos fuck. doesn't give you those powers when you use them for a Kirby game. Ah. Doesn't that just seem yeah, to make but, sense? Yeah, but they did do that, though. In, in Kirby Robobot, everybody gives you the best closest thing they can compare to a power in that game if you scan an amiibo. Ah. So all the Mario Broses will get Fireball, or Firepower. And if you use if you use Dr. Mario, you get Poison, because that was like the new Doctor ability, which used Poison, I guess. Or am I thinking of the wrong thing? Probably thinking of the wrong thing. There was a new Doctor mode, but I forgot if it was like a specific element. Like that matters. What the shit? Oh. Ah! The fuck? Bitch. Okay, that's it. You you fine. You you fine. Okay, you want some? I'll take you from behind. Haha. -ha. Watch this. I figured out a trick with him. He can't defend against that for some reason. Oh fuck! Okay, it doesn't really work sometimes. I need to get him to where he's trying to follow me. If I walk into the wall, he'll try to jump on me. I can probably get it this time. Yeah! I finally caught him before he touched the ground. <laughs> Wouldn't it be hilarious if uh, you touching it before it touched the ground still had it count as a deadly object and actually <laughs> did damage to you? Yeah. Hey, that's not fair. Well, that kind of almost works. Mm. No! <laughs> I knew it was going to be too late by the time I tried to run under him. I thought jumping would work, so note to self, don't jump if you're against the wall and he's going to jump at you. Try to go under. I forgot to try to do the technique, but I found a better one in the process, so... I need to remember to use the slide. It's a very good maneuver for not dying. Speaking of sliding, I just remembered a sort of funny video I partially watched because it quickly became boring. <laughs> it, was a, it was a video of winning a match with Cloud online, but without using any of his sword moves or limit break. And I thought, 
Does he only have like two moves that do that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> his forward tilt where he does the double kick and his slide and then a grab. Because I guess every other grab he actually does use his sword, but I was like, oh. Okay, this is probably gonna be a boring video. It kind of was, it was too much dodging. So it was just like literally baiting out, when can I t touch this guy with one of these three moves. Which I thought, the, the, a more impressive video that I watched that I really liked was uh, win, winning an online match with Mega Man, with only the Mega Man ability, which is just use his shoot. And I was like, that almost does nothing, holy fuck. They won. It was hilariously sad how bad the other player was at not getting hit by the easiest to dodge attack of Mega Man's. Like, they don't even do that much damage. That was what the funniest part to me was. Oh shit. Okay, he's doing that thing where he tries to fake you out by perfectly mimicking your controller. I think he's doing it again. Yeah, he's doing it again. And then he jumps at you. And that's one exploit I found, but he's not consistent. Oh, but you can force it to be consistent with the slide dash. But then he does that eventually. It seems that maybe his quote-unquote AI, if we can call it that at all here, <laughs> tries to follow you, and if you keep walking, it will automatically try to intercept your jump. But when you're at a wall, he doesn't have anywhere to go. Like he does that. Oh, shit. Well, now we know that doesn't work all the time. It worked there for some reason. That was cool. Ooh, you may have found a really good exploit. Oh, never mind. So do we just have weird inconsistencies now? That sometimes he'll block it without doing the animation, and other times he does a reverse backdash to cut you from behind while you're sliding? Because mm. he, that was like Smash Brothers bullcrap right there. He dodged <laughs> backward and hit you because he knew what was going to happen. He knew how to counter. Oh, shit, here we go. Huh, Tumbles. can you... Drop the sword after you pick it up. No, I tried. I was mashing it. Down. I was mashing minus button as far much as I could, and I thought, wait, am I even control here? And I was so. <laughs> Darn, because I was uh, wondering how hilarious would it be if you came in there with the power, spat it out, pick up the sword, spat the sword out, and pick up your power. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess they'd have to do it uh, this way. Otherwise, <laughs> like uh, you wouldn't have your sword fight if you lost it when you took damage. I was going to turn around go the other way. Okay, so that thing is very inconsistent with trying to get him to jump at me. I'm still going to try it once in a while and see if it'll work. But this is... This is going to be the hardest fight in the game, I bet. <gasps> Damn it! No, oh, I don't... What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. No! Hmm. <laughs> Bring out all the brawl moves. Yeah. Now I know where all those moves fucking came from. <laughs> he just waddled a real, little bit faster that time. <laughs> Man, I didn't even see him swing down his sword to kill you. Because he just needs to touch you to hurt you. It's like all the other enemies. Alright, do a thing. Do you ever wonder why it is that video games were designed that way in the beginning? Fuck you! What the hell? I didn't even touch him! Touch, designed in what way? So we're just touching the enemy hurts you. I don't know other than some sense of danger to like let you know just don't touch them. I don't know. Like the most unfair part about it all is that they don't take damage either. Yeah. Like, except all they gotta do is just except walk in, into ex you. except in Kirby games, it's the bosses that don't take damage when you touch them. Like, every other enemy will usually die when you touch them. They oh, hurt you, but they die. That's what I mean about okay. bosses. Yeah. That... Yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought you were talking about, like, everything, because, like, a Goomba doesn't die when you touch it. It's always, well, it's like one way in every game but Kirby, and that's what's funny to me. Then there's the enemies that just outright attack you. That's weird that he always has his back to you on the Helm Splitter. I wonder why. Hmm. It seems that the Slide Dash might be the technique to use here to survive. And then he rushes at you eventually. Don't tell me there's suddenly like weird physics that you need to hit his back now. But that can't be because he's doing these weird ass maneuvers. <laughs> I don't want this video to go on too long, so we might have to do it next time. We're not quite at the time limit yet, but I'm willing to allow. I forget if I've ever said this, but I usually allow up to 45 if a video is going to get a little long and not too much longer. 
if can, it can be helped. Or if I just forget. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hmm. That was a weird, he deflected you into the air, like you just don't care. I might have to look up a strategy for this, I didn't think I'd have to for a Kirby game. How do you beat man on level with that is hard? Hmm. So what's the meta of this night fight? Oh, come on, man. That's, that's good. <laughs> Who is this metallic knight? No, seriously, what's with the name like that? Why do I have a text message? I have a text message from my bank. Fuck you, I don't want to know about that. <laughs> no, no, camera! Come on, bank! That's private. This thing I'm not saying out loud. Hmm. Well, you went really long without taking damage again, and now you're dead. <laughs> Let's see. Darn it! This game is called Kirby's Adventure, right? Right? Yep. Okay. Kirby's Adventure Meta Knight. So, should I just go again while you're doing it? I guess if you really feel like it. I'm just trying to see if I can find this. I spelled Meta Knight really bad, but I got Metal. <laughs> uh, all right give me them sticks no not yet. Did you figure? I think. What the fuck? <laughs> I like how nothing happened there. <laughs> <laughs> See, Medina has the permanent sword ability. It makes him immune to swords sometimes. What does this remind me of? I feel like I've played a game before that had this weird thing where... Like, one of the difficulties to the boss or enemy was that you can't hit them... ...unless they're not doing thing. And it was a very specific thing of like, yeah, you can only hit them here. I can't think of what game that is, but I feel like I've seen it before. It's one of those stupid things. Or I've played too many damn games in my life. So it could be any number of, like, a games that was like, this was cool at the time, and I never played it again, so I don't remember it. Hmm. What was it? This feels very familiar. Was it like a fighting game? Was it like... Hmm. Can't be a beat em up. I've like never played those basically. <laughs> I'm not sure what the plan was there. I was getting confused. Oh. You can click through that. This? Oh. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, I'm giving it one more try on this video and then I'm gonna have to cut it here. <laughs> Because we're almost at 50 minutes, and I'll have to end up cutting this down anyway. Well, be sure to show our death montage. Yeah, well, it's going to be fast-forwarded, so it won't be skips. <laughs> we'll see that game over screen probably 50 times. Alright. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? Did you see that? He just shifted positions on me. Hey! What the hell? <laughs> I ain't getting down there. Let's get crafty. They call him Crafty Knight for a reason. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I don't know what to do anymore. <coughs> I did something kind of. Oh. 
Uh, oh, by the way, when I meant this last one, I meant like when I get a game over. Because <laughs> then I have to go across the room and that takes like eight minutes. <laughs> well, I don't know it takes eight minutes. Damn it! Damn it, you! <laughs> I can't believe I'm not more pissed off at this. This is one of those things that I'd be- What the no Bullshit! <laughs> and I punch my controller and throw it to the gr ground across the room and outside the door. Hey! Stop that! No! <laughs> Bad Bad Night. Hey, how come you're just outside of my sword range? What the fuck? The pixel was totally touching him. Alright, that wasn't very a good fair one. I wasn't really trying anymore. Alright, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, God. Later. Thanks for watching.